think about if you've ever had a medical x-ray done. In that image, you see bone and you see not bone. You don't see any detail in the not bone part. And that's because the tissue in your body is low density. In the material science realm, other low density materials are foams and epoxies, potting compounds, plastics, polymers. So we want to be able to see, image those materials non-destructively. And that's what we're doing here with X-ray phase contrast imaging, which we call XPCI. Phase contrast imaging has three orders of magnitude greater sensitivity, and that's the reason why it can see changes in low density materials, whether those are biological samples, or plastics, or foams, or some sort of composite. But what we did here is take a phase CT scan of a June bug sitting on top of some foam. On the left here, we have a traditional x-ray image, and on the right, we have an XPCI dark field image. As we pass through the bug, we notice not only can we see new details in the XPCI imaging compared to the traditional CT imaging, but now we can also see the foam and its cellular structure and defects, whereas in traditional CT, the foam is not even visible. The way we're able to do that is with a set of gratings that we make here at Sandia, and we're able to make gratings that are unparalleled around the world. A grating is a periodic step of the thick material versus a very thin material, set in a very uniform fashion over a very large area. So if you take, for example, your blinds at your window, when you open them up, the light is coming through. And if you look at the floor where the light hits, you see periodic light, dark, light, dark. That is what we're creating with these gratings, but in the x-ray spectrum. In order to make a set of gratings that manipulates these x-rays, we need to shrink that down very significantly. So our feature sizes are 50 times smaller than the width of the human hair. And we actually span them uniformly over a distance that is tens of centimeters long, so 100,000 times longer than it is wide, which is a pretty amazing feat that we didn't think was possible five years ago. I think there are really important applications in material science where you want to be able to image low density materials non-destructively. Especially when these parts are encapsulated in metal. So if you've got a metal housing that has some type of low density part in it, imaging the actual low density features in there has been uh, very challenging. With uh, our new X-ray phase contrast imaging system, we have demonstrated that we can actually see these subtle structures. These materials are used in many different industries across a broad range of applications from building and construction to electronics, uh, the medical industry, and here at Sandia they're used to protect uh, components that are important to our national security, making a difference in our national security, contributing to something that's truly important, that if we don't fix this problem, um, there are catastrophic failures that are unacceptable. Uh, is lights a fire that's that's unlike anything I've experienced before.